So I guess we're all supposed to stop what we're doing and pay attention to the impeachment process, the very, very important impeachment process of Donald J. Trump, the president of the United States, is being impeached. Oh, wow. Oh, ooh, what a surprise, right? I told you, fucking, they're going to do it, right? So the 116th Congress has decided, has issued articles of impeachment. Here it is, signed by... Gerald Nadler, Gerald Nadler, so here it is in the House of Representatives, and the resolution is on, on the, I'm going to read it for you, but we're going to have some fun with it, so, because it's really fucking boring, I'll tell you, man, it's really bullshit, it's a whole bullshit, the whole thing is bullshit, but we'll listen to it, I sped it up so you can hear it in like three minutes, <laughs> so, so, uh, so, but the, here's the point of it, what is the point? What is the point of impeachment? They know the House of Representatives, the Democrats, the Democratic majority, will, will issue a, a, uh, articles of impeachment, and then the Senate will hold a hearing. And then to, to get impeached, to get President Trump out of office, the Senate needs two-thirds of a vote. That is impossible with a Republican Senate. So why are they doing it? Why are the Democrats doing it? And why are they doing it when it falls in an election season? Why did they wait so long? Right? You know, well, I mean, the, the reason that they're coming up with uh, is recent with Joe Biden. But why didn't they do it before? Why didn't they've been saying screaming impeachment from the beginning? Right. So why did they wait? So here's the suspicion. This is working theory. And it is uh, everything is designed. Everything, 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 everything is designed to stop one Bernie Sanders from getting any attention, any media play, and getting that nomination for the Democratic uh, for the Democratic seat. That's the point, right? So if they have impeachment proceedings, what happens is it takes it takes Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders off of the campaign trail in January and and fussing around in Senate for weeks, every, daily for weeks inside of the Senate. So is it just another play to to monsterize Trump, which historically it works to Trump's advantage. Whenever the whenever the whenever the Democrats scream orange monster, Trump goes up in the polls. Right? Whenever they try to say he's corrupt, they go they go down in the polls, right? They and their corruption gets revealed. Right? The point is that none of this none of this impeachment nonsense. Let, let's listen first, and then uh, let's listen, uh, and then I'll come back and decide. So take it away, Conti. Resolution impeaching Donald J. Trump, President of the United States, for high crimes and misdemeanors. Resolve that Donald J. Trump, President of the United States, is impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors, and that the following articles of impeachment be exhibited to the United States Senate. Articles of impeachment exhibited by the House of Representatives of the United States of America, in the name of itself, of the people of the United States of America, against Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America, in maintenance and support of its impeachment against him for high crimes and misdemeanors. Article 1. Abuse of power. The Constitution provides that the House of Representatives shall have the sole power of impeachment, and that the President shall be removed from office on the impeachment for the conviction of treason and bribery or other high crimes and misdemeanors. In this conduct of the office of President of the United States and in violation of his constitutional oath, faithfully ex executed the office of the President of the United States and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States and in violation of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. Donald J. Trump has ab abused the power of the presidency in that, using the power of his high office, President Trump solicited the interference of a foreign government. Ukraine, in 2020, United States presidential election. He did so through a scheme, of course, of conduct that included soliciting the government of Ukraine to publicly announce investigations that would benefit his re-election, harm the election prospects of a political opponent, and influence the 2020 United States presidential election to, it, to his advantage. President Trump also sought to pressure the government of Ukraine to take these steps by conditioning official United States government acts of significant value to Ukraine on its public announcement of the investigation. President Trump engaged in the scheme, of course, of conduct for corrupt purposes and pursued a personal political benefit. In doing so, President Trump used the power of the presidency in a manner that compromised the national security of the United States and undermined the integ integrity of the United States democratic process. He thus ignored and injured the interests of the nation. President Trump engaged in the scheme of course of conduct through the following means. President Trump acting both directly and through his agents within the outside, within, within and outside the United States government, corruptly solicited the government of Ukraine to publicly announce investigations into, into A, a political opponent, opponent, former Vice President Joseph Biden, and B, a discredited theory promoted by Russia alleging that Ukraine rather than Russia interfered in the 2016 United States presidential election. With the same corrupt motives, President Trump acted both directly and through his agents within the United, within and outside the United States government, conditioned two official acts of public announcement 
that he had requested. A. Release $391 million of United States taxpayer funds that Congress had appropriated on a bipartisan basis for the purpose of providing vital military and security assistance to Ukraine to oppose Russian aggression and which President Trump had ordered suspended. And B. A head of state meeting at the, United, at the White House which the President of Ukraine sought to demonstrate continued United States support for the government of Ukraine in the face of Russian aggression. And three. Three. Faced with the public revelation of his actions, President Trump ultimately released the uh, military and security assistance to the government of Ukraine, but was persistent in openly and corruptly arguing and soliciting uh, Ukraine to undertake investigations for his personal political benefit. These actions were consistent with President Trump's previous invitations of foreign interference in the United States elections. All, in all of this, President Trump abused the powers of the presidency by ignoring and injuring national security and other vital national interests to obtain an improper personal political benefit. He has also betrayed the nation by abusing his high office to enlist a foreign power in corrupting political elections. Where, therefore, President Trump, by such conduct, has demonstrated that he will remain a threat to the national security and the Constitution if allowed to remain in office, and has acted in a manner grossly incompatible with self-governance and the rule of law. President Trump thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. Article 2. Obstruction of Congress. The Constitution provides that the House of Representatives shall have the sole power of impeachment, and that the President shall be removed from office on impeachment for the conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. In his conduct of the office of President of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional oath, faithful to execute the office of President of the United States, and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional duty to take care of the laws be faithfully executed. Donald Trump, Dave Trump has directed the unprecedented, categorical, and indiscriminate defiance of subpoenas issued by the House of Representatives pursuant to its sole power of impeachment. President Trump has abused the power of the presidency in a manner offensive and subversive to the Constitution, in that the House of Representatives has engaged in an impeachment inquiry focused on President Trump's corrupt solicitation of government of the government of Ukraine to interfere in the 2020 United States presidential election as part of the impeachment inquiry. The committees undertaking the investigation serve subpoenas seeking documents and testimony deemed vital to the inquiry from various executive branch agencies and offices and current uh, former officials. In response, without lawful cause or excuse, President Trump directed executive branch agencies, offices, and officials not to comply with those subpoenas. President Trump thus interposed the powers of the presidency against the lawful subpoenas of House of Representatives and assumed to himself function and, uh, functions and judgments necessary to exercise of the sole power of impeachment vested by the Constitution in the House of Representatives. President Trump abused the powers of his high office through the following means. One, directing White House to defy a lawful subpoena by which Withholding the production of documents sought within the committees. Two, directing other executive branch agencies and offices to defy lawful subpoenas and withhold the production of documents and, and records from the committee. In response to which the Department of State, Office of Management and Budget, Department of Energy, and the Department of Defense refused to produce a single document or record. Three, directing current and former executive branch officials not to cooperate with committees. In response to which nine administrative officials defying defied subpoenas for testimony, namely John Michael uh, Mulligan, Robert Blair, John. Es Estenberg, Michael Ellis, blah, blah, blah. These actions were consistent with the former Trump's previous efforts to undermine the United States government investigation to foreign interference in the United States elections. Th through these actions, President Trump has sought to arrogant arrogate to himself the right to determine the, pro the property <laughs> preparity scope and nature of an impeachment inquiry into his own conduct, as well as the unilateral pro prerogatory to deny any and all information to the House of Representatives in the exercise of his sole power of impeachment. In the history of the Republic, no president has ever ordered the complete defiance of an impeachment inquiry while sought to obstruct and impede so comprehensively the ability of the House of Representatives to investigate high crimes and misdemeanors. This abusive office served to cover up the president's own repeated misconduct to seize and control the power of impeachment and thus nullify a vital constitutional safeguard vested solely in the House of Representatives. In all of this, President Trump has acted in a manner contrary to his trust as president and served subversive of constitutional government to the great prejudice of the cause of law and justice and to manifest injury of the people of the United States. Whereby, President Trump, by such conduct, has demonstrated that he will remain a threat to the Constitution if allowed to remain in office and has acted in a manner grossly incompetent with self-governance and the rule of law. President Trump, Trump thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. Ah, so there you have it, right? Okay, now about that shit, right? So now we're... Now we're all on the same page. So that was all done. That was written December 10, 2019 at uh, 7, 7, 16 a.m. Wow, Democrats on a roll, Democrats on a roll. So now you heard the, the articles of impeachment for yourself. You heard what's in there in the nine-page, very, 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 very important document now being officiated by the House of Representatives, your representation. We heard the, we heard the hearings. We heard the good, all the Democrats said, Trump is guilty, he did it. And all the Republicans said, no, 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 he's innocent. And what happens? We live in a, we live in a, in a kangaroo. We live in a monkey, a banana republic. That's what I'm trying to say. A banana republic where, where it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have any, any basis in fact or law. It's all partisan politics. That's how, that's how this country is being run. <clears throat> if you follow the story I did yesterday, that's how our wars are being uh, uh, 
navigated through partisan bullshit. Right? That's how that's how people die. People get you know drafted into you know insurgency wars that have no we have no business being in. And now we're trying to remove a president. Not we, but the, the Democrats, the dirty Democrats, the uh, the uh, corporate Democrats are trying to remove Trump from office based on nothing, based on what each and every one of these senators and congresspeople and former presidents have done over and over again. The 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 intervention in in an election, it's just it doesn't hold up, right? If you want to look for the corruption again, look at look 2016. Look at how the money flowed into the Clinton Foundation and the DNC, how there was overt cheating. All of that money was flowing in from foreign entities like Saudi Arabia and such. And if you want to find out, if you want to find financial uh, assistance, uh, far, foreign financial assistance in an American election, you look no further than the dirty Democrats in 2016 in the DNC. So... Again, all designed to stop Bernie Sanders. That's the thing. Now, is that is that an exaggeration? Is it just a Bernie bro? Conti, you're just a Bernie bro. You can't see past it. He's a commie. He's a socialist. He's a no. He's, he represents he represents you. Ninety five percent, ninety eight percent of this country is represented under the umbrella of a Bernie Sanders presidency. Would be represented, right? Because it's it's. You, it's not right and left. It's not red and blue, right? The, the more people fall into that that right, left, red, oh, you're red team, you're blue team, you're right team, you're left team, it's all bullshit, right? There's us, the 99%, and them that are running the show. That's who the real enemy is. That's, that's how you're going to, you want change in this country? You want income and wealth inequality to... To come back down to size where you don't have three people with, with more wealth than the bottom half of the country. When you don't, when you don't, if you don't want people with a hundred billion dollars to their name that, that just buy elections and buy people and put people into slavery like fucking Amazon's Bezo guy, right? Setting up slave shops, sweatshops in the United States. If you don't want those things, then then you you can't continue. As a, as a country, we can't continue on the same uh, trajectory. It's impossible. Trickle-down economics is a failure. Now, is that, did it work at one point? Sure, it does. Capitalist, the capitalist system of the 80s and the 90s and the, se the 70s, 80s, and 90s was a result of a stimulus by FDR after, the, after World War II. And the, the, you know, the, the economy boomed with social programs like Social Security and uh, you know, social, social, uh, building programs. That's how like the, you know, the, the all of the pro, all of the programs, we wouldn't have a subway system in New York city if it wasn't for social programs and, and, uh, jobs programs. Right? so we wouldn't have police. We wouldn't have fire department. So to expand those, uh, those, um, programs to into the areas of healthcare and in, into the areas of, of, uh, education is not unrealistic. Most countries do it right but we're we're behind uh we're behind at it so so here we go you know there, there's there's the articles of impeachment they're going to do it and why are they doing it i tell you i say it i'll say it three more times that it's it's to stop bernie sanders so that we that we get a corporate democrat that goes in and runs and loses to trump and everything stays the same because that's precisely what the democrats want the civil war inside the democratic party people are you know the progressive wing is is very firm right the the corporate democrat wing the, the democrats the sleeping masses that just vote blue no matter who those people will go along with the sanders uh presidency so if the democrats want the presidency they will vote they will they will appoint bernie sanders as the candidate and then they will get the progressive wing of the party to back to back the democrats finally right but if the Democrats cheat and what uh, and continue doing what they're doing, which is diverting attention away from Sanders and putting on putting it on a corporate pick that cannot win, then they will lose because the progressive wing is not for sale. Those people are not just going to back the Democratic Party. We told you that they're not Democrats. They're independent voters trying to revive the Democratic Party and bring it in 
bring it back to a working, bringing, uh, bringing it back to a party of working class people. Uh, so that's my take on it. It's, uh, again, it's, it's articles of impeachment. Yeah. Are they going to impeach Trump? Will Trump be removed from office? Absolutely not. But will the Democrats succeed in muddying the waters and diverting attention away from Sanders and putting it on a corporate pick that loses to Trump? Yeah, that's probably, that is probably the, the play. Marcus Conte reporting.